Welcome back to the Lumios Post, where we talk about all things Pokemon, and today, well, today we're going to be talking about new Mega Evolutions that I think are incredibly likely to pop up in Pokemon Legends ZA. Now, uh, quick disclaimer, we obviously are not confirmed to get any new Mega Evolutions in Pokemon Legends ZA. We just know Mega Evolutions returning, and I personally do think that this is the right time to bring in new Mega Evolution Pokemon. I mean, it... It just makes sense, right? The gimmick hasn't been seen since Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. We haven't received new ones since Aorus. And also, Kalos is where Mega Evolution first debuted. It's where we got our first new Mega Evolutions, right? And now we're returning to it. It just makes sense. Also, this is made by the Legends team, who we know has in the past with Legends Arceus given us new evolutions, new regional forms, new regional evolutions. So it makes sense that if they're getting to play around with Mega Evolutions, they might want to play around with giving out new ones. But yeah, uh, these this is going to be my list of Pokemon that I think are likely to get them. And I, and I have reasons for each one of them. Uh, down the road, I'd love to do one on just ones I'd like to see. But let's get right into it with the Kalo starters. The Kalo starters, that is Froakie, Finnegan, and Chespin, or their final evolutions, would be the ones receiving the Mega Evolutions, Greninja, Chestnut, and Delphox. Uh, these Pokemon, I think, are incredibly likely to get Mega Evolutions. Uh, in the past, with Pokemon Legends Arceus, we got this kind of fun thing with the starters where they mixed up the starters and then like they weren't the Sinnoh starters and they were all stars from different regions, Oshawott, Cyndaquil, and Rowlet. And then what happened was when they evolved into their final forms, they actually were regional variants of their final forms. I could see uh, the Pokemon Legends ZA game mirroring this, still giving us like a mixed batch of starters, but then also mirroring something from X and Y. In X and Y, you receive the Kalos starters, but then when you get to Lumio City, Professor Sycamore gives you a choice between the Kanto starters, Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle. Whichever one you pick, he will give you the Mega Evolution Stone for their final form. So it's like you get your first starter choice, and then you get your second starter choice between Pokemon that can Mega Evolve. So I could see a similar thing in this Legends game where we get a new batch of starters, like it's, you know, not a new batch, but, you know, a, a mix-up batch, like one from Johto, one from Sinnoh, one from, you know, whatever. And uh, these Pokemon will have regional forms for their evolution. So say that it's Snivy, Piplup, and Torchic, that means we would have a regional form of Blaziken, a regional form of Samurai, or excuse me, uh, Empoleon, and a regional form of um, Superior. Then, as we progress through the game a little bit, we would get given a choice between Finnegan, Froakie, and Chespin, but this time, whichever one we pick, say I pick Froakie, the professor, whoever gives us these starters, will go, okay, and here is also the Greninja Eye, and now when my Greninja, or my Froakie has evolved into a Greninja, I can Mega Evolve it into Greninja. It just makes a ton of sense. Also, a big reason that this is probably gonna happen, in my opinion, is Ash Greninja. Uh, for those who don't know, Greninja was given a special form. It was called Ash Greninja. And what this came from was the plot of uh, the anime where it entered the XYZ series, which by the way, there's that too. It was in the Z series, right? Um, Ash was able to have this thing called the bomb phenomenon with his Greninja, where basically in like the height of battle, they would be able to kind of fuse, not not literally fuse. Ash would still be Ash, and Greninja would still be Greninja, but Greninja would take on this new form that had a lot of similarities to Ash, like, you know, the black hair and the red cap, right? And Ash would also feel Greninja's pain and be able to kind of see things from Greninja's point of view. This was coined the Bond Phenomenon. Uh, not much was explained about it. I have done a, a theory video on how it was actually just like... A, a, an aura related thing it was because Greninja had aura like powers like or aura powers like Lucario uh, I, I still think that's the case but the interesting thing about this is this was implemented into the games and then removed from it it was implemented in Sun and Moon you could get a Greninja with the ability Battle Bond after defeating a Pokemon it would turn to Ash Greninja got a stat boost Water Shuriken would do more in this form it was really cool but then in Scarlet and Violet, when they brought Greninja back after it sat out of Gen 8, they removed this Ash Greninja form, and instead, Battle Bond now, just when Greninja defeats a Pokemon, it raises its attack, special attack, and speed, I believe. But that's it. That's it. That's all the Battle Bond does. Doesn't change forms, so they removed this form altogether. 
Why would they do that? Well, it would make sense that they would do that if they're then going to give Greninja an actual Mega Evolution just a game later, right? That, that just makes a ton of sense to me. Uh, there is also the chance that this Mega Evolution will be Ash Greninja. They might bring that Ash Greninja form back and just call it Mega Greninja. Or even, you know, bring it back, do some design tweaks, and call it Mega Greninja. That also kind of makes sense when you think about it, because Ash Ketchum is no longer in the anime. So Ash Greninja, you know, that doesn't, like, resonate the way it used to, right? And it especially won't if, you know, God forbid, 10 years from now, we haven't seen the return of Ash Ketchum. All the kids are going to be like, what's this Ash Greninja? Why is there no Liko Greninja? Or whatever, you know? But... Yeah, so I, I'd say the Cal Stars are pretty likely. I also, I don't think that they're going to make the same mistake this time and only revisit Greninja and not Delphox and Chestnut because they have the perfect opportunity to give us the Cal Starters choices and then give us their Mega Stone when we pick them, just like they did the Kanto Starters in X and Y. Now, next up, we actually have some scrapped Mega Evolution. So, it makes sense. When you're developing a Pokemon game, right, you're obviously going to have a lot of Pokemon that you draw up and you scrap. You decide, yep, yeah, nope, this design isn't good or no, it doesn't fit or it's too similar to this, whatever, and you scrap it. And this actually happened with Mega Evolution. So we know, first off, that Flygon was supposed to have a Mega Evolution. The Game Freak said that when developing, they were wanting to do a Mega Flygon, but just couldn't nail the concept. They kept drawing up things and they just didn't feel like it was good enough. Ultimately, Mega Flygon was scrapped completely. Now, the fact that Flygon was a Pokemon that Game Freak wanted to give a Mega Evolution to, but it never came to fruition, makes me think that it'd probably be top of their list when they're revisiting Mega Evolution and handing out new ones. You know, they're probably like, hey, it's been 12 years. Do we want to take another crack at Mega Flygon? You know, I... I would think that'd be the case. Another scrap mega evolution that we know about, and this one's actually very new, we've only learned about this in the last couple of months, is Mega Jinx. So this all started back in like the Sword and Shield era when Pokemon Home launched. There was data for a Jinx cry and it sounded a little different. It had like this reverb that honestly sounded very similar to uh, when you Gigantamax a Pokemon and it gets like this new cry that's like a, a, a remixed version of its regular cry, right? Well, this was in the coding for Jinx. So people speculated, oh, could it be a Galarian Jinx that was scrapped? I mean, we did get a Galarian Mr. Mime that so it makes sense that maybe Jinx was supposed to have a Galarian form. Maybe it was a Gigantamax Jinx, you know, that that's possible too. Um, or, you know, some people did think maybe it was a Mega Evolution. Well, uh, we've come to find out now that it actually was a Mega Evolution. It is coded in home the same way that other Mega Evolution Pokemon like Mega Lucario, Mega Sceptile, Mega Blastoise, the way they're all coded, this Jinx Cry is coded that way as well. So it seems like Jinx was supposed to have a Mega Form, and not only that, but it seems like this was a late cut, right? Because we can't find a mega flygon cry we can only find a mega jinx cry so the fact that there is a mega jinx cry out there right like there's that exists it, it means that they were pretty far along this was probably a last minute cut so that means that they've probably got a mega jinx design on the back burner and again i imagine it's up there with flygon where like when they go okay new evolutions what should we do? They pull up the list and the first two names on that list are Flygon and Jinx. Honestly, I like to think that Flygon is higher just because that's a fan favorite. Like everybody was distraught when it didn't get a Mega. But I would actually probably say Jinx's chances are a little higher than Flygon's just because, again, they had even made a cry for this thing. That is kind of wild. Now, next up, I don't have any specific Pokemon, but I wanted to talk about the distribution of Mega Evolution amongst the different generations of Pokemon. So, when Kalos came out, uh, you know, that was Generation 6. So, they didn't give any Mega Evolutions to Kalos Pokemon until in Oris, they did give a Mega Evolution to Diancie. And that makes sense, right? The thing about Mega Evolutions is they were brand new designs. Why would I make a new design? for a design that's new, right? Like, when Noivern is a brand new Pokemon, why would I make a Mega Noivern? Why? You have Noivern. That's your new design. It's cool to revisit these older Pokemon because, like, look, 
Charizard, that Pokemon you've known for so long, it has a new design, you know? I think the same thing can be said about regional variants. You typically see them revisiting, uh, you know, older generations, right? Like, the newest one we have is Decidueye being an Alolan Pokemon, and that was given out in Gen 8, so a Gen 7 Pokemon getting a regional variant in Gen 8. So I imagine that that's why they did Kalos that way. Well, now Gen 6 Pokemon are... 12 years old when this game will be coming out so they're not new pokemon anymore and not only that but it's very likely all gen 6 pokemon will be in the pokedex for this game so it just makes sense to me that hey they're 12 years old they're at the forefront of this game because they are Kalos pokemon they are the pokemon introduced in this region maybe we revisit them and hand out some again i do think the Kalos starters are incredibly likely to get it i also think that noivern uh is a pokemon that just kind of looks like it could get a mega evolution right because mega evolutions typically like make sharper edges on the design and kind of make it more rough and gruff i just could easily see them doing that with noivern um obviously any evolved pokemon is it has potential here right go go since this is set in lumio city go go is like the ride pokemon lumio city could easily see it getting some love here uh, and getting a mega gogo mega pangoro all of that i i really i think that some kalos pokemon would be giving out some megas then other regions that i think are likely to get megas are uh, the unova region just because you know unova also only got one mega it got Audino and that's it and it didn't get that until oris if i'm not mistaken so Again, made sense at the time. You just had these Gym 5 Pokemon. You don't need a new Mega Evolution for them. But now, Gym 5 Pokemon are really, really old. They are 15 years old when this game will come out. So, absolutely, we can hand some out to them. I also could see them handing out some Mega Evolutions to Alolan Pokemon and to, uh, you know, Galarian Pokemon. Just because, again, you're, you're looking at... It, these Pokemon didn't exist when Mega Evolutions were a thing, right? Like, when they were giving out new Mega Evolutions, there were no Alolan Pokemon or Galarian Pokemon. So, obviously, now you can revisit that and you can go, hey, which of these could get a Mega Evolution? You know, I think that would be the first place they look, if I'm honest. Especially because, two, there's not as many Pokemon to get Mega Evolutions in Gens 1 through 4, right? Because... A lot of them already have it. Garchomp already has it. Galade already has it. Gardevoir already has it. Absol, Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur, Steelix, Scizor. You know, it, a lot of these Pokemon, those first four gens, already have. So if they're handing out new Mega Evolutions, I really imagine they would look primarily between Gens 5 and Gens 8. Now, Gen 9, I am a little skeptical of because, again, we kind of revisit the thought process with X and Y, where it's like a thing of, okay why would we give out a Mega Evolution to Noivern? Because Noivern's a brand new Pokemon. Well, now, why would we give a Mega Evolution to Lowkicks? Lowkicks is a brand new Pokemon. You don't need a new design for that new design, you know? But, that said, I would love a Mega Evolution for Hydrapple, for Archaldon, all that. That would be super cool. But I don't know if they'll do it. But yeah, I, I just wanted to get that out there that I do think that Generations 5, 6, 7, and 8 are going to be the primary focus, like, in terms of where new mega evolutions are distributed that is not to say that i don't think they will revisit gens one through four as well you know again mega flygon i think it's very very possible and flygon is a generation three pokemon jinx also very very possible that's gen one pokemon so i imagine there'll be others i just again think the concentration will be more on gens five and up be sure to let me know what you think of this in the comments are there any other pokemon that you think you know is very likely to get a mega and don't don't give me this one because it's a fan favorite no that's not i mean like coding like thought process give me some there's got to be some effort into why they're more likely because i genuinely believe the cow starters flying on jinx and then just a more higher concentration and gens five through eight are the more likely pokemon to get megas but I i'm super excited to see it i'm we might get new megas and that is crazy to me let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. And until next time, I will see all of you later.